It's early. It's like almost eight or this eight. We're walking back to Paul's because it was super good. So super good. And it's really close to our little hotel, so we're grabbing a quick bite before we go to the train station to go to Sincha. That's what I'm wearing. Same pants, comfy pants, little white tee. Then I have a a little crew neck tour later, but we're gonna get some breakfast and yeah. Look at this coffee. Oh ham and cheese, regular croissant, and ham and cheese croissant. Are you kidding me? So, we're here in Sintra. We just got off the train. It went by really fast. It was only like 40 minutes. Yeah, but it didn't feel like it. It felt like faster. Um, and it was only like 10 euros for the two of us to get here and on the way back home. But I'm so excited to see some castles. Officially inside. What's it da Pena. Yeah, like he said. Um, so we got here at like 11:30 ish, and we. Oh my God, it's just been kind of endless. We went to well, the ride, the walk up here is almost two hours. So we paid to get on a hop-on, hop-off bus because we thought we would see all the other castles. <laughs> And <laughs> it's just really long, like the whole thing. Like we waited in line to get our tickets for like 40 minutes. And then we're starving because we haven't eaten since like 9 a.m. And then we get to the little restaurant they have in here and they have seafood pasta, which I don't eat. Vegetable lasagna, which I don't like. <laughs> and then they have pork and rice, which I do like but it just didn't seem appetizing to me. Right. So Carlos got that and I ended up eating a muffin. So I'm quite hungry, but time to enjoy the palace. And just know if you come here, you're gonna be here like a day at least if you wanna see all the other palaces, but Yeah, the other worth palaces it. are kind of blah. They looked uh, underwhelming. Yeah. Does I don't know if like, it's like worth it. Kind of like uh, old school colonial, like not colonial, but like forts. Right. Not actual like. I'm sure castles. they're nice once you go up, but this one looked the best because it's like super colorful and like it looks different. So I think we're just gonna do this one for today because it's been such a freaking long day and we have to pack, pack up and get ready to leave early tomorrow to Lagos. So. Here we are. We made it. 
Singing in a photograph, but I never learned your name. Then it wasn't long I fell in love and don't you feel the same? So you told me, Come on over. Now we'll see. <laughs> oh, let's go take a pic.
Starbucks and a little sandwich or something before dinner because I'm very hungry. So, we are on our way to dinner. Got back from Sintra. We'll give you guys the rundown of our thoughts on the whole Sintra thing later. But for now, we're going to dinner. And we're going to Dallas Burger because it's highly recommended here. Well, let's go have burgers in Portugal. Burgers outside of America are way, way better. Anything, any meat, any cold cut, anything is so much better. So anywhere I go, I like to try burgers, kind of. Because they're always so much better. Yeah, we're about to find out. It's gonna be really good, because the meat is just so good here. So that's where we're going. We have the rest of the trip to try more authentic foods. Yeah. But today, as you guys know, I only had a freaking muffin. And obviously breakfast at like 9 a.m. But I just, um, a, it's definitely our turn. We have a whole week left. Exactly. So, mama wants a burger today. And I hope it's very good. <laughs> I want some fries. And just like a hot, good meal. So that's where we're going. Just pretty comfy and casual. And, and then what? We'll see you there. Show you the burger. <laughs> Before we got ready for bed, I would tell you guys about Sintra. So basically, if, babe, tell me if I forget anything. Yeah. Okay. Basically, if you're not gonna be there from opening for like the rest of the day to see all the castles and stuff, it's not worth getting a hop on, hop off bus if you're not gonna be there. Cause it took us, we got there at like 11.30 I think. Almost, no like 11. No wait, 11.30. Yeah. We got there like 11.30 and between like finding the hop on hop off bus and going up to the first castle and then waiting in line to get the ticket to go into the palace. And yeah, that took like Three or four hours? No. How long did it take? Like two hours. Really? That's it? 
We left at like. Well, you could say three. We right? left at like four. I'd say two and a half, but yeah, you can see three. It's definitely three. Well, it took a really long time just for one castle or one palace. It was like a lot. Well, no, we went to that first castle and we we're like, this isn't worth it. And then we. Well, we wasted like, I don't know, 15 minutes there realizing that we didn't want to go in. Yeah. But still, like, we dipped after 15 minutes and then we worked our way up to that one castle. To the palace, yeah. Yeah, and the line was really long and stuff. And we <coughs> realized, like, I mean, if you want to see all the castles, you have to go super early, like, at opening. Right. But if you think you're going to see, like, one or two, I don't think the hop-on, hop-off bus is worth the money. Because you could just take like a tuk tuk up and down for probably like I don't know maybe five euros. I don't I didn't check, but I'm sure it's cheaper than the hop on hop off bus. Well, the bus, just the trip, a one way trip up to one house uh -huh. was like three sixty. Yeah, or you could take the bus or a tuk tuk, whatever, but yeah. not the hop on hop off. So everybody knows what a tuk tuk is. Yeah, it's like a, <laughs> it's a like motorcycle little cart it's right like a moto taxi yeah um they're very fast so <laughs> you'll get up there really quick i probably would have done that over the bus but <clears throat> that and then yeah to be honest like the only palace and castle that i thought was like worth seeing was the how's it pronounced pen 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 no, castle pena pena castle which yeah. is the one that you guys saw on the vlog that's probably the best one. Otherwise, the rest you can see through other views and they're just kind of like, would you say like forts or something? Yeah, yeah. They're just they gray. They are castles, but they're like. And like, not, if you're into like the historic part of it, then yeah, like go see them. Yeah, but as you, if you're you like to there to sightsee and see all the views and stuff, I feel like the castle we went to was the best option. We just could have been more time efficient and saved some money but whatever we were figuring it out we had no idea yeah um yeah so that's it tomorrow we're going to lagos so i'm ending this vlog here and we'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>